guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am 19 weeks and two days pregnant and I'm getting ready for my 20 week anatomy scan for uh, the baby. So it's uh, it's an ana anatomic ultrasound for the baby so they can see more into the details to see how the baby's doing, to see if there's any problem or anything that is concerning, just to make sure everything's okay. And hopefully they will let me film. I just hope, I'm like, oh, I really hope so. Uh, but we'll see. I may have to record it from my phone because maybe if I record it from my phone, it's gonna be easier for me uh, because I'm not, I'm gonna go by myself. So I'm not gonna have it anybody else to help me filming. Okay, so I'm almost ready. Just need to do my makeup, but I'm gonna do my makeup in the car. But I'm, I'm almost, I'm already on the way. But I'm gonna go to Home Depot first because I actually want to give one more gift for Christmas for Daniel. So they are reserving the product for me and I'm gonna pick it up before I go to the doctor really quickly. Answering the calls because I have to answer now because I'm expecting oh, yeah, uh, yeah. an important call. Yeah. So you have to <laughs> you have to answer. Yeah. But I'm like you. If I'm not expecting mm -hmm. gosh. They figured out how to have local number and, and they, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They call with, with the the number is locally. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Get right over here to the end. Okay. Pull these all the way off the hips. Okay, you got two phones. You got. Oh, yeah. you got a video camera going. Just show my. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to zoom in this one and just clean. Yeah, come down More? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Okay. Let the bark come out first. So far, I don't understand anything. I'm looking at the leg. Bark canal. This is where the baby comes through. Okay. We have to check it, make sure there's nothing in the way. Okay. And then this is the femur, the upper bone in the leg, measured from hip to knee. Mm hmm. Head. That's the top of the head, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Belly on the left, head on the right. Measuring the head from side to side. Head circumference. Belly. Lower spine. Upper spine. Normal? Uh huh. You'll be the first to know if I find anything wrong. <laughs> <coughs> Will you confirm it's like if it, what it is? I will. We'll do that at the end. We'll make sure baby's normal first. Oh, yeah. <coughs> This is belly again. Let me see how big around it is. Okay. Gonna look at the brain structures now. Looks good. We'll look at the renal arteries. Perfect. That okay. means we have kidneys. Mm. Yeah, I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at this baby. Mm -hmm. I'll check that lower spine again. 
Very good. Okay. I didn't even know you could see internal organs of the baby. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. Yep. That's nice. I thought it was just physically, but like, I didn't know if it was like internal inside the, the egg. The feet. One number one. And there's both hands. Okay. Extremities look good. There's face. You can see the eye sockets. Here's where the cord inserts into the baby's belly. Mm -hmm. okay, that's his hand. That's his thumb right there. Mm -hmm. There's a foot. This is the heel. This is the toes. This is a girl. I just told you it was a girl, I just want to make sure. <laughs> My husband was sure. <laughs> Who told you it was a girl? Uh, we had, we went to this Cloud9 ultrasound that you should only do sneak peeks. Uh -huh. It was like a five minute. And she said it was a girl. Alright, everything looks good. Thank you. You're welcome. We have two boys, so that was a big surprise. <laughs> I was already, I was already like, no, uh, I'm just gonna have boys, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> Is my placenta anterior? Mm. I, or do I have a... Nothing wrong with your placenta. Nothing wrong, right? No, okay. it's anterior. The ultrasound, everything went well. She gave me a few photos of the baby. The foot, and then she showed me the photo of uh, showing that if it's, that it is a girl. The eyes, hand. But none of the, the photos are like the cute type of photos. Like, you, like if I show you, you're not gonna be able to understand like very well. Like this one I think is the this is the like, more understandable, but I think the eyes are somewhere over there. And then this one shows the hand. Then one shows the girl. I'm not, obviously not going to show that one. <laughs> and the foot. I was, a I was able to record it, so I, I'm... Uh, very like happy that she she let me record and she was very nice and as far as the doctor appointment I had uh, the appointment with the midwife and she just sat down uh, she didn't do any physical exam on me uh, she said that she was only gonna do my next appointment I thought that she was gonna measure my like the fundus like my belly size like things like that my temperature was 96.8 my blood pressure was 120 by 65 or 62 i think my my i think my weight was 122.8 pounds so i have asked the the midwife about the very close vein that i had in my last pregnancy and the very close vein never went away uh, after 18 months postpartum I went back back to my previous OB and he said not to worry about it so when I got pregnant since the birth was never went away it just stayed there and now it's actually getting worse I asked her if it, there's any chance that it's gonna burst or anything like that when other people look at it like the doctor or my husband they doesn't seem to look as big as I think it is they said it, it, there is a possibility that will that it will burst it's kind of like it's the same thing as an as a hemorrhoid but it's on it you know it's in the front instead of being on the back 
so it can happen but she said that in her practice like it's very rare like it she doesn't even remember when was the last time maybe 20 years ago <laughs> so probably made me believe that it's very rare to happen and it's only one side uh, like I don't have uh, it's tolerable and sometimes depending if I'm too too much time sitting or there there are some moments that it's just bigger and uh, the, and then it, and then it, get, it gets like uh, tender the only thing she said is that if it is hot to the touch then then it may be something but if it's not hot to the touch and it's just like probably not to worry about it anyways when I went uh, 18 months postpartum from my last pregnancy to the OB doctor he didn't say anything so I made a research and basically what says if you plan to have more children that it's just better to wait so I'm probably gonna fix it. If it doesn't really go away after my pregnancies are done, I'm probably gonna have to go to a vascular doctor or a, like a surgeon that is like specialized in vascular, like or veins, and it's probably gonna have to like drain it or do some kind of procedure that, that will dry it off, that will like back to normal. But uh, then other than that, like I told her, then my vision got more blurred and another thing that she said that I just waited out like it was not worth to to do another exam right now because after pregnancy it would just go unless it was something that like it's too blurry I can't see anything to drive like if, if it's really affecting that much but it's not affecting to the point I can't drive or anything like that so she said just to wait it out I uh, have headaches sometimes and then she just told me to take Tylenol and the insomnia, I guess that's just like there's just nothing you can do about it when I have it sometimes. She told me that they already pre-registered me from the hospital, so I'm not gonna have to go there to pre to do pre uh, pre-registration. And I'm gonna try to go uh, get a tour maybe on a Sunday. She said that because most of the scheduling dates for inductions are done during the week. And so Sundays, uh, nothing is scheduled. So usually it's only if you go, like if you go into labor on your own that you go on Sunday. Uh, so the amount of people that deliver on Sundays are usually is lower. Uh, the best chance that I get to like be able to get a tour and it's not going to be too busy is probably on Sundays. So I'm going to try to to see if I can go and, and take a look at the at the hospital floor, like at the maternity sections and take a look there. That's what I've always done. Anyway, she just, she looked at the the notes for, from the ultrasound technician and just she said there's nothing to worry. Everything's normal. Uh, sizing, everything is like perfectly normal. My next appointment, she's going to, it's going to be 24 weeks. I think it'll be 24 weeks of pregnancy and then after that that after their appointment then I will do the glucose test so anyways guys uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it's not too long because the ultrasound uh, was already long enough but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this this appointment that I had anyways I I hope you guys subscribe and like this this video don't forget to comment down below. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.